Hey, what's up guys? It's Rihanna Epperson and today is a day to try something new. So, for this 2017... Oh my god, is this 2018? For this 2018, I vowed to do at least one new thing every month. And this March... <laughs> I will be going to the movies alone. Now I'm pretty sure we've all watched a movie alone at home, like on TV, on Netflix, and just binge watch all day. But have you ever gone to the cinema alone? I've never gone to the movie theater alone. I guess it's frowned upon because, you know, the movies is just a place you go to with someone. It's a bit embarrassing to ask for just one ticket and to sit alone and not really have anyone to talk to or have any reactions to share with. It's a bit weird and I think a lot of people think it's quite sad, but here's the thing. The movies are dark, nobody will know you're alone, and if you can watch a movie home alone, why not at the movie theater? I mean, it's air conditioned, you get popcorn, you get drinks, so I am kind of terrified because, you know, there's always that fear of being judged, there's that stigma, but then again, who cares? I'm just there to go and watch and enjoy a movie. So I will take you guys with me today and I hope you enjoy my new experience for this March. <laughs> so guys, I'm going to be going to Century City Mall. I'm just going to go and change and put on a different Hawaiian t-shirt maybe and get a jacket for the movies and I will see you guys in Century. Okay, so I'm just going to get an Uber. It's currently 1.50 p.m. I wonder what's showing. Okay, I am just about to book my Uber. I'm so excited. <laughs> the Uber is on its way. We are gonna go to Century and watch a movie alone. Let's go, guys. We are on the way to an alone time movie. Dad? I'm going, bye. <laughs> Okay, so we're at the cinema, and what's showing is A Wrinkle in Time, Tomb Raider, Sherlock Gnomes. Oh my god! My perfect game for 440. Um, <laughs> I'll E7. Just one. Yep. Yep. Okay, thank you! Okay guys, I just bought my ticket <laughs> for one. I was so embarrassed, I guess, but she, did, she didn't seem like she cared. What's embarrassing is that I'm the only one watching this freaking movie. So if you don't know, My Perfect You is a local film. It's got Theo Wurzbach in it, whom I love, whom I've told that I love. I actually met Theo Wurzbach at the Mega Millennial Ball, and I was like, I love you. And uh, I don't regret that, so now I'm watching her. Okay, so I decided to watch it because it is a romance film, and it's a local film, and I do have a soft spot for them, and I saw the trailer, and it looked really cute. I just think it's a bit sad, because it's a romance film, and I'm watching it alone. <laughs> if you saw in the screen, nobody's watching it, so I took the seat right in the middle, kind of in the back and I'm just gonna enjoy that and get myself some popcorn but it's not showing till 4.40 and right now it is 2.30 p.m. so what am I gonna do for two hours? <laughs> I'm gonna go and grab a book. <laughs> These are the little penguin classics and they're really short books. Sometimes they're short stories or oh my god I made a mess. <laughs> 
So I like buying these books. You can read it in maybe about an hour, depending on how fast of a reader you are. But I'm gonna go with something I haven't read yet. Maybe this one. A cup of sake beneath the cherry trees. If you did not know, these penguin books are only 80 pesos each, so if you have nothing to do with your time like me, here's a book you could get to burn some time. over to hole in the wall and just sit down take advantage of the free water and read my book so we will do that for about an hour and <laughs> we'll see what happens when I get bored so I go so I'm at the hole in the wall and I'm enjoying my little book I really don't mind being alone this isn't too much of a challenge for me watching the movie alone. I just want to beat the stigma in trying to do things alone. And I think people in general should just really enjoy the table for one concept, which is you know, eating alone, enjoying your own company, not being in front of your phone while doing it. And it just really enjoy the things you love. So for me, it might be reading. Oh, thank you. <laughs> So before I go to the movies, I'm going to go and get some food. I'm going to get some cookies from Scout's Honor, maybe some milk, because yum! And here we are, just minutes away from the movie. Okay guys, so it's maybe 15 minutes before the movie's about to start. I kind of went shopping. And I got my food for the movie. I got a burger from Burger King, potato corner fries, and a bottle of water. So we're all ready to go. And oh, I also got a cookie. That's right. So I'm all ready to go. We are gonna ball our eyes out together to this movie. I heard it's pretty good. So let's go. Here's my movie. I'm gonna be giving it over there, but I don't think they'll let me record, so I'll see you guys inside. Okay, so I'm not the only one here. <laughs> Lol. Oh, out! Damn! Oh my god, hi guys, so I just got out of the movie and boy do I have a lot to say and I think I'll get back to you guys when I get back home, my camera's a little bit, a little bad, so I'll see you in a bit, bye! And we are back home guys! Alright, so here are my final thoughts and my experience going to the movies alone. Luckily though, when I did enter, I was not the only one watching. There must have been 10, 12 other people there. So when I got there, nobody was sitting in my row, but uh, after a few minutes, it was followed by two uh, like older women, two seniors probably taking advantage of their free movies, and then one other guy, maybe three seats over, and then everyone else was sitting behind me. And I guess that was kind of it. No one was really seated in front of me, except for a couple. Personally, I really enjoyed it. I loved watching the movie alone. There were so many moments where I cried and was getting all emotional. No one was there to judge me. It's kind of like watching a movie home alone, you know, but with air conditioning and good food and I just genuinely had such a great time. I love the film. I did not like it at first. The first hour you're just like, oh, this is such a typical film, but the more you watch, guys, the more you uncover the deeper meaning of the film. It had a really great plot twist. I thought it was great because it tackled mental health. So if you are thinking about watching My Perfect You, catch it while it's still in the cinemas. 
Anyway guys, I don't think watching a movie alone is that daunting. I guess if you are uncomfortable being alone, this is a good way to practice without people really looking at you and judging you because it is dark in a movie theater. Okay, so my camera just died. But in conclusion, I don't know where I left off. In conclusion, I thought it was an overall good experience. I think if you are willing to try something new this month, this can be the thing for you. Anyway guys, this is my new thing for the month of March this 2018. I hope you continue to push yourselves to try new things. In the comments down below, you can leave me your experiences with watching movies alone. Have you ever done it? And if not, why not? Go and try it out, guys. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on my journey to trying new things this 2018. I will see you again next month with a much more difficult challenge, hopefully. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions for future videos or things I should try, you can leave it in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more of this awesomeness. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>